Hey, hello, Yo. JJ. <laughs> What's up, bro? Nothing much. How have you been? <laughs> I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. How are you doing? Okay. That's pretty good. I went um I went to Kids Con yesterday mm. and I went bowling after, which was fun. Mm. And other than that, yeah, I haven't done much today. Oh. Oh. Okay, so um, I want to say a very big thank you to you, you know, for this opportunity for doing uh, an interview with Black Universe. It's an honor from me personally, the host. It's an honor for me as well, you know. I don't usually uh, get asked for an interview, so you know to have the chance to be able to be interviewed is amazing. Well, great, welcome because you are being interviewed right now from Nigeria. Oh, <laughs> so That's uh, cool. yeah. So um, let's uh, for those of you who are who will be watching this um. JJ White. I'm interviewing JJ White, right? Did I get the, the last name right? Yes, that is correct. JJ White. Okay, so JJ White, I'm your host, Gosso, and I'm so happy to be here. So let's get right into the interview. So, JJ, I, I want us to start you. I want us to start from the beginning. Like, how did you venture into acting? Okay, so how I ventured into acting, basically. Um, started off, I would say, around third grade. Yeah, third grade, around like 2016, 2017. I was just on my way to lunch one day and my friend came up. My friend was named uh, Justin. And he went up to me and he was like, hey, um, my dad is doing a play. And I want to, I, we want to uh, get more boys to come to play, you know, more, more kids my age. We were doing uh, the Christmas Carol. The, so... And I came in and I did the audition and I got the role. And it was, the role I got was like really mine. It was um, the little boy at the end, once uh, Scrooge, you know, realizes that Christmas, all about the Christmas spirit and everything. He, he like, he's really nice to his little boy. And I, I can't remember the line. I think I used to, yeah. but uh, I say one line, which I had one line, but that didn't matter because I ended up memorizing the entire script. Basically, I memorized the entire script and uh, I was helping, you know, everybody uh, do do their lines and everything. And they suggested, hey, you should start doing acting more. And I started doing that. I started doing musicals and more plays. And, and then I moved to California as my dad got stationed here. And then I slowly uh, transitioned to more theatrical stuff. Mm. Mm. That's cool. That's cool. So, um, since you started acting, has it been uh, a smooth road, or have you faced a lot of obstacles on the way? It has not been a smooth road, not at all. <laughs> I, acting is not a smooth road. You know, there's a lot of ups and downs. There's many times where I felt like, you know, am I really gonna be able to, to, um, what's it called? do this as like a job as a career because I, I love acting but you know it's it's starting to get smoother now <laughs> so yeah because you're used to you know you're starting to understand how acting works actually mm -hmm. yeah yeah Yo, so let's dive into uh a brat tv right now so how did you get involved with the series charmers on brat um how i got involved with the charmers was um I never really actually auditioned for Leo. What? That that's uh yeah. So or at least I don't remember doing that. I remember audition. I don't remember what the shows were, but I remember auditioning for like a, a bunch of other stuff. And you know I wasn't getting anything from it. And I wasn't like booking. And then I remember I did one of them. I something with like a lake house or something. I don't remember. It was it was something. But uh, I auditioned. And I was like, I sent in my audition, and then after a while, I heard back, and they're like, oh, you booked it. And then mm. I heard, um, what's it called, that it was going to be Charmers. And I was like, oh, that's not what I auditioned for. <laughs> so it was really interesting. And in acting, this is actually, um, it's actually pretty common for this to happen. You'll mm. audition, and they'll be like, oh, oh, we don't really see you in this role, but we see you in another role. So they might book you for that role, or they might have you audition for that role. Mm -hmm. So. That's that's so cool. That's so cool. So how how was the reaction when you got the part on the series? 
um, I was really con like confused. Like, as I said, I didn't audition, so I knew nothing about it. Yeah. And um, I, I was like, uh, my mom read me the description about Liam. And I was like, oh, that's uh, interesting. I was like, magic and stuff. I was like, huh, <laughs> that, that's interesting. And then I, I went back and I watched um, season one and everything. And I was like, oh, this is cool. Like the, the effects and everything. I'm really liking the vibe of the show. And being on set was like even more fun. And mm. one of the episodes that came out was um, where I, ble I, I uh, spoiler, but uh, or should, should no, I say no, it? No, 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 no spoilers. No spoilers. No spoilers. Okay. Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah. This, this yeah, is. If anybody hasn't seen the episode, I think it's like episode six, mm. which I know is out. But if anybody hasn't seen it, it's really cool. It's a special effect that involves me. Oh, and oh, it's really I, cool. Are you talking about episode six? If it's episode six you, you want to talk about, you can go ahead. But nothing uh about um you know the coming episode like from episode seven upwards you can't say nothing about that one yeah yeah no, nothing about um the any episodes that haven't came out this was about uh an episode that's already out yeah okay okay go ahead you can say something about it so yeah i like i i end up breathing fire you know with the marshmallow and everything yeah yeah that was actually in the first scene of the episode that, yeah that yeah that was Oh, I love that. that was, I was like, I couldn't wait to see that. That that wasn't that wasn't only you. I love that VFX. You know, for me, the the um the VFX in this season two is so much better than the VSX mm -hmm. uh, than the VFX in uh, season one. Like yeah. when when I saw when I I saw you do that, you know, do the the you know the fire magic trick. Uh, I was like, wow. When when did Brad get this advanced? <laughs> That was so cool. That was so cool to see. It felt so weird doing it. I was just like, I was just like, <laughs> and <laughs> like nothing's there, but it looks way better when you when you actually. Yeah, it. yeah. Seriously, I would I would love to watch Chamas with no VFX. That would be really funny to watch Chamas with no VFX. Like, see you see you yeah. do like see you doing that. You know, trying to breathe out fire with nothing happening i'll be like what what was he trying to do <laughs> yeah he's <laughs> just seeing like all, all all the spells happening and you just have to pretend that it's there and it's like oh. yeah that's that's the best that's the best part of acting you have to walk with your imagination and pretend even like pretend yeah. that you saw a dinosaur when there is nothing there mm -hmm. yeah that's <laughs> what i love about acting the imagination part is just yeah. it's just so alive yeah yeah so how would you describe your character liam I remember I got this question asked when I was doing the interview while I was on set. And I said, you know, Liam personally for me, you know, I saw him as a, a straightforward, you know, down to earth business kind of guy. Um, he, he seems like really in tune with like nature and everything. Um, mm. He's a, a very smart person. He, he's really, uh, he's resourceful. Um, but I would also say he's kind of, um, Huh, what's the word? He, he can be, he, he can be hard-headed, you mm. know? That's what I would say. He's really focused on like one thing and getting this one job done. Yeah. So, that's, that's how I see it. Man. Yeah. And he likes helping other people as well, from what mm -hmm. I've seen. Yeah. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, he's, he's really, he's really nice and Sometimes, you know, he can come off in a way that's like mean, but he, he has everyone's best interest. In him. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. But, you know, uh, during our review, uh, during the Bright, uh, the Bright uh, Universe review, we, we categorized you as, you know, one of the bad guys. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what they were, they were going with that, you know, to throw, uh, to like, you know, they were trying to like build me up as that. And when I was first reading the script, I was like, oh, my. I, 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 what, what's going on? Like, and uh, there's like many things that happen. And I was like, oh, that's 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 cool and everything. And like, and I was like, oh, so this is what I'm really doing. All right. OK, I'm like, I like that. And just learning that, um, uh, like building like I, I built my own little backstory for Liam and everything. 
which I thought was like uh, really cool. And I used a lot of, if you know what The Witcher is. Yeah, yeah. Um, I used a lot of that to put in to like a backstory for Lena. That, so that, I, I had a bunch of fun with it. Yeah, that is so cool. That is so cool. So what do you have in common with your character? Um, like what I would the... say... Go ahead, oh, go ahead. you finished. Okay. No, I was just trying um, to say what what does I was just trying to put the question this way, like what does JJ have in common with Leon? Um, okay, what do I have in common with Liam? Let's think, let's think. Um, I would say what I have in common with Liam is that I'm a I'm a very straightforward person, you know. I like, you know, just like being there in the moment and everything. And um, I'm trying to think what else makes me like Liam. Hmm. I would. I was. It's it's, it's a hard question because <laughs> Liam is like kind of like a lot of things that I'm not. You know. Yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. I, I get. I'm not no crazy dragon and everything. Yeah, yeah. Let's let's get rid of let's get rid of the magical aspect. You know of Liam. You know the fire breathing, him being a dragon and stuff. So, on a normal. What do you have in common with me, apart from the magical stuff? So, like I said, straightforward. Uh, I would also say I'm really nice and uh, helpful with people, you know. Yeah. Um, I'm always looking, you know, to have, you know, to like entertain people. You know, I'm, mm -hmm. I'm an entertainer. I want to see people laugh and uh, smile and make sure everybody's safe and doing well, which is what Liam is trying to do. He's trying to make sure everybody's safe and stuff. So I think those are the things I can do. Yeah. Yeah. So um, I have asked uh, this question a lot to you know most Brad TV uh, actors to see what they really think. So, but I'm going to ask you this question. Uh, the question is, what was it like being on a Brad TV film set? Okay, so being on a Brat TV film set was it was really fun. Um, there's like everybody on set is really nice, you know. It's kind of like a, it's kind of like a family, and everyone like um, they everyone knew each other before, you know. So it was kind of like I was I was coming into it, you know. I was a new person, yeah. But uh, everyone will open me with uh, welcome arms. I were oh, yeah. I think that's the saying or something like that. <laughs> um. But it was uh, it was really cool to see the set pieces and everything, and um, they were still kind of like building up some stuff when I was there when I first got on set. So it was like it was like really cool to see some stuff like still being built or just like like a sneak peek into like what we're gonna film next time and like no and later when we're done with like this episode and that episode. So um, I would say when we're at the what's it called. Um, the camp, the camp set area, it was like so hot outside, super hot, but it was, uh, it was cool to like go through and like, uh, kind of like be at a, like a miniature kind of type camp thing. Cause I had never, I had, I've never really been to a summer camp. So yeah, never, uh, um, I like. I've done stuff that is kind of similar to it, but not like, not like your parents send you off to, you know, this place in the woods and you're in a cabin with everybody. I, I never really experienced that, but it, it was cool. I really liked it. That's cool. So, um, Leon, what do you like most about acting? What do I like most about, about acting? Um, Personally, I would have to say what I love about acting is um, just, I feel like with acting, you know, acting is uh, when you're playing a character, that character becomes, uh, it becomes part of you, right? And I, uh, so I see acting as an extension of myself or like other actors, that's an extension of themselves. Like they're showing you different sides of them, you know, in, in a character form. So what I like about acting is that I think you can learn a lot about yourself playing a character, you know, because you have to like dig deep into your past and stuff and find stuff that you can um, 
empathize or like understand i would say with the character and you're like pulling parts of your own life and you're like putting it into the character so that's what i love about it you know i you feel so alive playing a character even though like you know it becomes not a character and you get to be different different people yeah yeah you get to meet a bunch of new people and that's that's another thing i love about acting you you get to meet so many different people and uh it's just I've met so many great people on set. It's like, I I can't even like say, like I've, you know, some people talk about, you know, bad times on set. I've never had a bad time on set, never. It's been amazing. So um, can you describe um, what influenced you to pursue a career as an actor? So, I don't like, like I said earlier in the interview, ever since I started with that first play, I just had been interested in, in acting. Like, I don't, I don't know, it was like after the first time, it was like a switch in my head. It was just like, I love acting. And I, I did musicals after it. Uh, Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Horton Hears the Who, was like two of the uh, musicals I did. And um, I, I guess like I was always in that like, entertainer um, mindset because uh, I used to love to sing. I played many different instruments like uh, the saxophone, uh, recorder, guitar. I did a little bit of guitar and everything. And like the keyboard with the piano and stuff. Um, so just like from different people that I heard, they were like, oh, you're so good in acting, you should do that. And you know, you, you'd be a great actor and everything when I was a little kid and then just moving to California and having that chance, you know, I kind of just jumped at it. And that's, that's, I would say, you know, just the, the, uh, the support I got from people like my parents and friends and everybody around me just made me want to pursue acting. Yeah. yeah. So, um, here's, here's a trick question. Uh, what do you feel is more important for an actor? Is it talent or training? Okay, that's a, that's a good question. I would say personally from, uh, from experience that training is way better than talent. In, in my personal opinion, because, you know, there's so much you can do with talent and everything. Yeah, you, you know, raw, you know, if you start off and you have that raw talent, you know, that puts you above others. Yeah, you're in a better position. but if you just let that talent, you know, you, you think that talent is going to carry you throughout the rest of your career, the people that are training are going to get higher than you, they're going to get better. So if you have the talent and you train, you know, you, you could be as one of the best actors of your age and everything. But I would say training because there's, there's so much stuff you learn while going to acting classes and everything. And um, there's like, you know, stuff Getting that information and that help, you know, from your peers and also your teacher is just, it's just great because every acting class you go to, you'll learn, you'll learn something from the acting coach because everybody has different experiences yeah. from their teachers or from their career. And then your classmates also have different experiences as well. So you'll learn from that. So yeah, I would, I would have to go with training. That's cool. I agree. I agree with you on that actually. <laughs> so, um, which types of acting do you feel you are most suited for? Wait, say that again? I said, uh, which types of acting do you feel you are most suited for? Most suited for? Um, I'm, I'm really, like, not too sure. Like, you mean, like, genres, right? Yeah. Um, I'm not too sure. I want, I want to do, like, a little bit of everything, you know? Mm. I want to be really versatile and stuff, you know. Um, I would say currently I struggle with like a lot of emotional stuff. Um, I I can make myself cry, but it's really hard. You know, there's there's people that I know that are way better than me, and that's because you know they've been doing it longer. And you know, I'd I'd always been kind of scared from those like emotional kind of scripts because I was like I don't think I can get myself to cry, but now I'm like I I know eventually i'm going to get scripts like that where i need to cry and i'm like 
and I've done it a couple times in the past. I've been successful, so I just got to keep on training. So I'm fine with like, I think I get a, like a lot of comedy and dramas, you know, mm. for my auditions. That's a big yeah. thing for like teens and stuff. But I have gotten a little bit more serious. I've done like some horror stuff uh, like a couple of years ago. And I really want to do like fantasy stuff. That's also good. Mm. So like between those, but pretty much anything. Okay, okay, cool. Um, so how do you rehearse a scene if the other actors you need to interact with are not uh, in the room? How do you, you know, rehearse a scene? So usually, if I don't, if I don't got anybody, like you know, if I can't even use my mom, anything, like usually I, I run scenes with my mom, you know, even though you know she. You know, she she does the job with I need her, and if I, I if I don't got the help from my mom or any other actors, um, I usually kind of um, just run it myself. You know, I don't really kind of like say it, but like there's like after a while you start to realize you know there's like um, nah I'm, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go back on it. I'm okay. gonna go back okay. on it because okay. I, I I have an idea like. How, how, why, why don't we pretend, I, w- I want you to just do something, why don't we pretend that, just pretend that this is an audition right now. Uh. And you have nobody to talk, uh, you have nobody to interact with, you are in, a, in an audition, so just give us something. Act as if you are doing an interview right now, like as in a scene. I think usually I would take like, um, like a couple beats, you know, I would say the line and then you know, give like a, how I would say like the pause, you know, like a little pause and see like how I would think like how much the words would take. Mm. And then I would go on to my line, the next one, or sometimes I'll read, I'll read over the li- the other lines as well. But I would say that like, that's not the best, you know, having, having someone is, is great yeah. you know, to rehearse, especially if it's the other person that's saying that line, because you can get a, you can get a feel with how um, they're gonna say it and their timing and everything. And just being able to rehearse it with with anyone is great. I know a lot of people, they read over the other lines like through like voice memos. And then while they're doing the script, they play it over. So they, it kind of gives that, you know, feel. But I've never tried that, so. Cool, cool. So, um, what steps do you take to fully understand the importance of your character to the story? So, oh, usually you know, I read the script first, and I read, and then I, I kind of find, you know, what's what's my place, and what um, what do other characters need from me, and what do I want from other characters? As um, mm. because there's always like a, there's always a need. No one, everyone, every character needs something from each other. And usually I, I, I try to figure out, you know, like what I bring, what my character brings to that scene. Yeah. And I, I try to stay into that. And I, I kind of try to like build, build off with that, if that makes sense. Mm. Cool. Cool. So, um, did you take any acting classes or go to an acting school? Um, I take acting classes. Yes, I take. Um, currently, I'm taking two acting classes a week, Monday and Tuesday. Um, I've done a lot of different acting classes, but yeah, yeah, yeah. You keep going. <laughs> yeah. So, um, who is your inspiration? My inspiration. Uh, I feel like that's um. I've I have many different inspirations. You know, uh, I would say obviously my parents inspire me a lot mm. uh, because they're hardworking. Nice especially choice. Especially my dad, and uh, they've you know they've sacrificed a lot to like help me pursue this this uh, this uh, career of mine, my hobby. And you know, if if I didn't want to like do acting, you know, I wouldn't uh, uh, be here right now. And that's that's what I, I like. And so I'd say just for them to, you know, to, like 
push back, you know, they, they wanted to go live on the East Coast and everything. Uh, like, probably like, I don't know, somewhere like over in Maryland and stuff, because that's where we used to live. Um, so I would say they, they put down like what they wanted beside and they were like, okay, well, he wants to do acting. And so we'll let him do that. And I, that inspires me a lot. So definitely in my appearance. So um, what else do you like other than acting? I like a lot of stuff. Um, sports is a big thing. I'm really big into basketball. My favorite team is the Miami Heat. Um, I love, I used to do a lot of uh, BMX tricks on my bike. Um, now I just like riding around, you know, just riding around. Uh, swimming, swimming is another big thing. I did a, um, when I lived over in the Netherlands, um, over, because it's uh, under sea level, most of the country's under sea level, they make sure everybody knows how to swim. So I did survival swim classes and I learned how to swim with my clothes on and everything and like different tricks and how to save people and all that other stuff. So I, I love swimming, going to the gym and just like video games and computers, just like anything that's like really active for me. I love just like, just like being active and running around and stuff. I've always loved that. Video games, that was my thing. Yeah, I've been playing video games like since I was like two years old. That's How has the series affected your life? Um, uh, the series has um, it's had a positive impact uh, on my life so far. You know, um, obviously, you know, I'm doing this interview with you, which is <laughs> a great honor, and I've I've, I've made amazing friends and. Um, to be a part of, you know, Charmers and uh, to be known as an actor on Brat is just uh, amazing. And uh, it's, uh, it's cool because, you know, I, every once in a while I go on live and I, people come in and they, they ask me about stuff and, and going live with like other, other co uh, uh, castmates and stuff and just like just seeing like everyone, you know, so excited like it's about charmers and everything it's just made me like so happy it's it's amazing yeah that that's so cool and i'm, I'm also happy that i'm doing this interview with you right now <laughs> so yeah. um let's let's touch your thoughts about brat tv so um what do you like uh and what do you like most about brat or what do you like most and least about brat tv so what I like the most about Brat is be, uh, they, you know, because since I've gotten on it and I've watched like a couple of Brat stuff in the past, I, I know people that have been on there and they, they kind of like touch on like every genre. Like like I said, and uh, I, I would want to do like pretty much any genre and they kind of do that. And I like that. And they're, they're super professional for like a, a, a YouTube, you know, for like a YouTube like series and stuff. Yeah. Um, so those are what I like the most. What I like the least, um, I don't know. That's kind of hard because, like, <laughs> like I said, I, I had a great time. Um, hmm. I don't. I really. Uh, I, I don't. I don't know. To be honest, like I, I'm being like 100% genuine. I I don't know because I I don't have anything bad to say about Brad. So. Same I don't know. I don't think I can answer that. Same here. Same here. Same here. <laughs> so, um, do you plan on being in more Brad TV shows in the future? Um, you know, I would always be down for it. You know, if I get the chance and everything. Mm. Uh, you know, there's no, I have like, I'm, nothing specific that I'm doing with Brad yet or anything. Uh, you know, I just did Charmers and. If they do do a Charmer season three, would love to come back. You know, this is amazing. Yeah. Um, but nothing particular. I would love to. You know, if I get the chance and auditions and stuff. Yeah, I, I would love to see a Charmer season three. Like this, this yeah. season that this season two is so is so is so great. Uh it's the, the this season two is beyond our fans' expectation. Even me, it was beyond my expectation. Like the the season one wasn't this 
the season one wasn't this fun as season two is season two has a lot of a lot of crazy stuff a lot of crazy stuff within it so um yeah so what was your favorite uh, what was your favorite thing about filming on brad um my favorite thing about filming on brad was just like um i'm gonna say two things hmm. so building that connection with everybody on uh set you know uh my castmates and you know the crew and everything uh, just like I, building that connection was really great you know i made a bunch of new friends and i had a great time and then another thing was like um filming the scenes with like the via via uh via VFX. vfx and everything yeah. yeah and that was because i was like really looking forward to seeing like how everything and like how the spells would look on camera and like all the different effects and stuff and i was like i was really waiting for that and even though like it felt kind of weird in the scenes you know <laughs> they're like i have to pretend you know they're like they're like oh do this but um you know you're like there's a certain point you you can't cross because then it will look like you it's like it will look funky and everything yeah but yeah. like so it feels weird in person but just like seeing it seeing it like once it's all done it's just so cool Ooh, yeah so that's that's what i love yeah that's so cool so um what else should our viewers know about you um that um something that right I'm just, a uh, I'm just a positive happy guy you know i'm always down to talk to anybody i want to make sure everybody's safe um you know i like to go on like instagram live and stuff and just um talk to everybody you know go on live with people i, I love to see you know when people are like oh, oh my gosh you added me to a live i can't believe i'm talking to you it's just it's just so it's it's such an honor just like right just like feel. right now just like right now i can't believe i'm talking to you <laughs> Yeah, and I, it just it just makes me feel really really great because you know just like see people you know that have a genuine uh, um, well it's, it's excitement to talk to me and I just love to see the smiles and laughs yeah. on people's faces. That feeling. <laughs> so um, JJ, lastly, what message would you want to give to you know to the fans out there to your fans? And also to the startup actors out there, what message would we want to give them? Um, you know, this works, you know, for pretty much anything. Just, just keep on going. You know, there's gonna be hard times in your career or your life, but you know, you just gotta keep on pushing because it's all worth it at the end. You know, once you you, you continue on and you you start to improve and everything, you know, it, it gets much better and you start to have more fun. You know, trial and error. You know. You learn so much by, you know, not getting uh, auditions and everything or like not failing at this or not doing this right. You know, you learn so much about yourself, but then also how to do it right. And that that's life, you know, you yeah. learn by your experiences. You learn, you keep on learning every day. You're learning something new. I'd say like in, in everyday life, you know, you, you sh you're learning something new about yourself and other things around you and stuff. And then that's 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 the message i want to give out just keep on, on working you know there's going to be people that are going to bring you down there's going to be situations that bring you down but that push and that drive to you know to take take what you what's happened to you and to use it and to build positivity on with that it's just amazing and that that's how it keeps me going I'm, i just want to i feel like that that, that that advice is is is, was just made for me alone <laughs> oh well, my god i i it works it works to anybody especially with acting you know yeah because in acting there's there's many times where you you'll 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 get an audition there's like i i cannot tell you there's been so many times where i've gotten an audition for something that i love and i was like oh my gosh like, to, to to work on this to work with that person oh like this is gonna be amazing and then i don't get the role or like something happens like there's been a couple of times where like i wasn't able to make the shoot and i was like oh no because like something would have to like would come up and it's like it's such a bummer but then i realized you know i'm gonna have many chances 
to, yeah. to do something even better. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. That is so cool. That is so cool. So, um, we have come to the end of this interview. So, JJ White, it's once again, it's an honor to, you know, interview you today. Thank you very, very much for joining us on the Brat Universe. So, guys, uh, this is JJ White. Go ahead. If you are not following him, go ahead and follow him on Instagram. Uh, he just goes by JJ White. And, guys, yep. uh, keep on watching Chamas. And I can't wait to see what's in store for, J for Liam on you know chama so that's the next episode which is which will be coming uh on tuesday uh by 12 p.m uh pst on brat tv so guys uh keep on watching keep on tuning into brat universe and i love you guys jj thank you so very much i love you man thank you so much for coming on thank brat you, universe thank you. i love you too man it's it's such an honor you know doing this interview and everything it's it's amazing it made my day really good it's made it awesome and yeah just i can't wait for the rest of charmers and for everybody else to see you know what happens and what's in tune for the story and the characters and pretty much yeah yeah that's so cool jj i would love to have you back here on brat universe anytime any day yeah i'm down you just let me know and i'm i'm down to do whatever oh Thank you so much, JJ. <laughs> Bye. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Next time on Charmers. What about Sun and Zarya? They're in the Dark Realm. We don't have much time. How dare you speak the Great One's name? It's okay, Clover. I can do this. What's wrong? I think it's nearby.